Today, we'll be going over the three most common reptile thermometer types, and we'll see which one is the best. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sebastian from MIMO, and today we're going to find out what the best reptile thermometer is. So there are plenty of different reptile thermometers that you could use that are out there, but there are three specific types that are probably the most common amongst uh, beginners. So we could start off with the stick-on, which is pretty common to use. You can see them in all different types of pet shops. And then we have the probe thermometer, uh, which just has probes here, which we will go into later on in the video. And then third, we have the temperature gun. And there are different types of thermometers, but these are definitely the most common, like I said, especially amongst beginners. And we're gonna start off by talking about the stick-on thermometer. So when it comes to these stick-on thermometers, they're definitely gonna be your cheapest option, and they are relatively accurate, but they will only give you the temperature of the general area where you put them. They won't really give you the temperature of a specific spot, like for example, the probe thermometer, which I will show you later on in the video. So if you are looking for a thermometer just to tell you the general area or the room temperature, so you know uh, the general temperature of the inside of the terrarium that you have it in, then a stick-on thermometer would definitely be good for that. So the next thermometer is this probe thermometer where it has these probes. Now it depends which one you have. This one, for example, has the temperature probes and the humidity probe. So, but there are other ones where it's basically the exact same thing, but it only has a temperature probe. So for these, I would say that they are a bit more accurate than the stick-on, but you would have to put the probes in a specific spot and you will only know the temperature of that specific spot, which could be a good thing if that's what you're looking for. If you just wanna know what the temperature is of the hide and you know that the rest of the cage, uh, let's say is room temperature and you just know that, then this would be perfect for that. So it just depends what you're looking for. But like I said, these are definitely a little more accurate than the stick on ther uh, thermometers. So you could switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius for temperature right here and the temperature will be right here on the left side and humidity percentage will be on the right side here so basically to use one of these thermometers you would just put it anywhere in the cage where you could see it so if you put it right there then you would take these two wires so this one is to gauge humidity and this one is a thermometer so you could take this you could put it right by the water bowl over here and it will read on the uh, thermometer right here and it will tell you uh, that's it's 73 percent in that spot so you could basically put it in any specific area and it will tell you the temperature and humidity of that spot so if you want to know the temperature of the hide right here then you can easily just put it in the hide and you would find the temperature out on there now obviously you would make the wires look better you could hide them a little bit but just to show you an example of how it works uh, this would basically be how it works. So the final one that we're talking about is the temperature gun. So in my opinion of the three, this is probably the best one because you don't have to set anything up or move any probes around and you have to stick anything on any of the terrarium walls and you just uh, go to your terrarium, you point it at whatever uh, temperature that, whatever spot that you want to know the temperature of, you just point it right to that and it'll just tell you the temperature automatically uh, much easier. So definitely I would say this is the best of the three options in my opinion But uh, I will show you how it works right now So the temperature gun is super easy to use uh, All you have to do to turn it on is just to pull the trigger here and it turns on right there So basically all you have to do is uh, you could either choose Celsius or Fahrenheit depending on uh, What you want? So we have a Fahrenheit on right now so if we wanted to check the temperature of this table, just this point, 78 degrees, and you could turn it and just do the temperature of basically anything. Uh, all you have to do is point at it and pull the trigger and it will immediately tell you the temperature. So I do think that the temperature gun is definitely the best option for you uh, to know the temperature accurately and of any specific or general spot. But if you want to mix and match that is also a good option for example you could stick on the thermometer onto the glass the stick on thermometer 
and then uh, you would have the general area uh, temperature off of that and then you could use the temp gun for specific spots like if you want to know what the temperature is on the cold side or the hot side so that is definitely a great option as well but at the end of the day basically whatever works best for you and your pet reptile is best so go off of your experience once you get any but definitely start off with getting a some sort of thermometer no matter what it is it is always very important to know the temperature of your reptile but that is everything for today's video i hope you enjoyed and took something away from it and if you did then please like and subscribe and everybody have a good day